This is a patient who comes in with right lower quadrant pain and gets a CT scan with intravenous contrast. But we can see immediately that there is some right upper quadrant free fluid over here in the right septiphragmatic region. There's some free fluid. There's a small to moderate size hiatal hernia. As we scroll downwards, we can start to see some of that fluid tracking inferiorly along the right paracolic gutter. And right around there, we see there's a focus of extraluminal gas. And so there's something going on in this patient. Extraluminal gas is certainly concerning for perforation. All this free fluid suggests there's some inflammatory change going on. And we can see that some of these loops of small bowel also look like they're a little bit thickened. Granted, they're under descended, but certainly look a little bit more thickened than they should. There's quite a bit of stool, and some of these loops of sigmoid colon here also look thickened. But as we go downwards, we start to see what's causing some of these issues here. You can see clearly at the level of the upper rectum, sigmoid junction, there is a break within the wall of the bowel. And from that, all the stool and fluid is going out into the adjacent soft tissues, causing uh, really a ill-defined collection of gas, stool, and fluid resulting in a peritonitis, which is probably irritating some of these small bowel loops over here, certainly causing foci freer and some of this fluid. This patient ended up going to the operating room and they indeed found a hole or a break within the upper rectum sigmoid colon and they ended up doing a resection with an end colostomy.